So certainly um, this is a very unique and novel um, therapy that has been recently integrated kind of in the chronic GVHD realm. And certainly for our patients, it really has a significant impact for t- particularly those that have more sclerotic and fibrotic type of chronic GVHD, who unfortunately, despite our two available therapies on the market, a lot of times may fail therapies. So you know, Bellamocidal, in addition to having activity on um, TH17 cells, it also offers the benefit of uh, impacting and improving regulatory T cells. And of course, kind of that is the hallmark of developing kind of this horrible um, type of chronic GVHD. Um, I think one of the unique aspects for Bellamocidal is it's So a lot of our agents are not benign drugs, and a lot of our historical agents that we've utilized have had significant um, hematologic toxicity or GI toxicity or just a lot of fatigue and muscle um, spasms. And so certainly um, this agent has kind of added uh, additional benefit for these patients without having a lot of toxicity. Um, I think, you know, one of the the greatest impacts here is that this this drug has been um, utilized in patients with prior novel therapies, such as ruxolitinib and ibrutinib, and still had very successful rates in these patients. I think one avenue um, that's a little bit more difficult to treat is those patients who have lung GVHD. And certainly this is a drug that does have some activity. So of course, chronic GVHD being the leading cause of non-relapse mortality, certainly agents that offer efficacy with reduced toxicity. And my book is key.